Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. And today, pag-uusapan natin tong ulit si Pasa na buy now, pay later, anywhere na matadownload sa Google Play Store. Legit! Pero, huwag nyo munang i-download unless nakilala nyo siya. Kasi, there are certain things about Mukasa na kailangan nyo malaman, guys. And I have a suggestion. Again, suggestion lang to, ha, based on my experience. So, bago kayo mag-download kay Mukasa, panoorin nyo muna yung video na to. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ate Red here. And dito siya nishare ko yung experience ko about loan apps. Para kayo makapag-decide kung okay ba to o hindi. But guys, this is just based on my personal experience and opinion. Hindi po ako legal advisor, hindi po ako financial advisor. I'm just a user of these loan apps. Kaya siya nishare ko yung experience ko sa inyo. So this video is not sponsored. Once again, pag-usapan natin kung si Mukasa. Legit, makikita niyo siya sa list of recorded online lending platforms. Pero, I've been using it for over a year now, but hindi ako 100% happy dito. Let me give you the positive things about this first. Oh, by the way, kung kayo nag-wonder kung paano mag-apply, then you can check my previous videos. Kasi andun po yung step-by-step -step process. And why I think dapat pag-isipan nyo talaga kung magkakatiwalaan nyo to o hindi. But again, that's just me. That's my, just my opinion. That's just my feeling. I've been using Mukasa for quite some time now. And Marami siyang in-offer. At yung virtual card naman niya is more reliable compared to the other virtual cards that I have previously used. Meron po siyang cash advance. Which, 30 seconds lang, matatanggap mo na yung perang hihiramin mo sa GCash mo. Pero itong si cash advance, dapat meron ka munang mukha sa account. So, dapat may credit limit ka dito. And yung cash advance na to is a percentage of your total credit limit. At... It doesn't also mean na kung may credits ka na dito kay Mukasa, eh, pwede ka makapag-cash loan. Ito naman yung low interest daw and pay in installments. I've also made a separate video about yung cash loan. You can also check it over there. Meron lang ako makukomment dito sa sinasabi niya that the more you use Mukasa, the more po tataas yung credit limit mo, tataas yung credit score mo. Um, pero guys, I've been using this for a year now. And nasa 6,000 pa rin yung credit limit ko. And 1,000 of that, Binigay ko pa as a refundable guarantee deposit which until now, hindi ko siya ma-withdraw kasi pag i-withdraw ko siya, hindi 1,000 yung buho ko matatanggap plus mawawala pa yung iba kong credits like the 5,000 na credit limit na galing sa kanila. So my issue is that it's been a year now, I've been a good payer, okay naman yung virtual card niya, okay din yung cash flow na base, yung pero bakit hindi pa na tumataas yung aking credit limit when technically okay naman ako as a user, we can all understand na it's based on credit history, okay, tatanggapin ko yan. Kung ayaw niya sa akin, di ba? Di ba? It's based on credit history, okay, that is acceptable. What I don't like about Mukasa is yung humihingi po siya ng refundable credit, uh, refundable guarantee na siya yung magiging credit limit mo. So, ito, yung sinasabing refundable credit guarantee na up to 14,000 credits daw and then no application, 100% approval and 1 minute approval. So, kinlik ko yan and it's suggesting that I um, deposit 6,000 pesos so that I get an increased credit limit of 6,000, making my credit limit 12,000 pesos. In order for you to increase your credit limit, no application, 100,000, one minute approval, that's the idea behind this. And sabi nila, it's refundable or pwede mo ma-withdraw. But in my experience, yung 1,000, kung nga hindi ko makukuha ng buo, kung kukunin ko siya, how much more yung additional 6,000 na ibibigay ko sa kanila. So I'm not comfortable. And my suggestion is, why not? Kung magde-deposit ka lang naman, I think it's much better ha. Based on my experience, it's much better na mag-secured credit card ka na lang. It's the same. No Mag-a-apply ka, of course, sa banko. Mag-deposit ka. But that money is 100% yours. Pero syempre, for as long as you're using the credit card, hindi mo yan ma-withdraw. But rest assured, it's still yours unless eventually, kung gusto mo na stop yung credit card mo, yun yung gagamitin mo pang bayad mo dun sa credit card. So, why go for a secured credit card instead of the refundable guarantee fee ni Mukasa? Secured credit card, may card ka that you can use anywhere. Kahit wala ka nalang cellphone swipe. Just make sure you're good standing, of course, para tuloy-tuloy yung gamit. Your deposit with the bank, it's still yours. Makukuha mo yan. Basta bayaran mo yung secured credit card bills mo. And then, after some time, Usually, some banks, after one year, pwede mong sabihin sa manager or pwede ka mag-apply na i-release yung holdout deposit. So, magiging regular credit card na siya. Hindi mas maganda yung credit card because it is a service offered by a more established institution, like a bank. And subok na yan eh. 
na maaasahan si bank with our personal information compared to this one na kaka-start pa lang. And for me, mas comfortable ako with banks than with Mukasa. So if you have 10,000, for example, go with RCBC or um, B- BDO na secured credit card. But of course, depending on the bank, certain percentage lang yan yung magiging credit limit mo. But still, yung dineposit mo yun, dun, sayo-sayo yan. So before I let you go, let me just summarize um, this video with these points. Mukasa is legit. It's widely acceptable sa mga kung saan pwede ka makapag-scan QRPH. So, pwede mo siyang gamitin doon. Mabilis yung response niya, ha? It's not like other apps na palaging down. But at least si Mukasa, in my experience, hindi pa naman siya nag-fail. Meron siyang cash advance, which is the percentage of your credit limit na 30 seconds lang. Mababa yung interest, 30 seconds lang. Matatanggap mo agad sa GCash mo. And reasonable yung interest niya. And then you have, uh, hindi po siya short, hindi po siya 7 days, but you have 30 days to pay and you also have the option to pay partially. So, okay siya doon. It's also accepted sa mga Lazada, gasoline stations, fast food chain, basta nga may scan QRPH. Yung ayaw ko sa kanya is yung guarantee, yung refundable guarantee fee. Sabi niya, if you do this, nakakatulong daw siya na tumaas yung credit score mo. At with that, um, mas credit worthy ka. Instead of paying the refundable guarantee fee, doon ka na lang sa bank guys. Yung secured credit card ka. Kung ito man lang yung idea niya, doon ka na lang sa yung mas matagal at mas established. Plus, may card ka talaga na mas acceptable eh, kahit na wala kang dalang self. Again, personal opinion, that's my experience. And for me, a secured credit card is better than Mukasa. So, that's all for now. And I want to hear your thoughts on this. And see you on my next vlog. Bye!